Yo, what's good everyone? This is AEO Boxing with Mediba, and we're here to talk about why Isaac Pitbull Cruz does not deserve a rematch with Gervonta Tank Davis. So Isaac Pitbull Cruz fought Giovanni Cabrera this past weekend, and it was an underwhelming performance. This fight was an opportunity for Pitbull to look good in order for him to attract the rematch with Tank Davis. He was the co-main event on the biggest night of boxing this year, fighting an opponent that doesn't have power. It was the perfect setup for Pitbull and I expected him to knock out Cabrera, but Cabrera surprised me and fought very well, going the distance and losing a split decision. Despite winning, this fight has set Pitbull backwards in the eyes of many fans and I think it's justified. This fight showed me that Pitbull is limited. For the first four rounds, Cabrera was outboxing Cruz. He was sticking and moving with the southpaw jab and utilizing lateral movement, keeping Pitbull at the end of his punches and on the outside. Rather than cutting off the ring, Pitbull was chasing Cabrera, throwing leaping wide left hooks that would miss and hit air. And whenever Pitbull did get close, and whenever Pitbull did close the distance, Cabrera would clinch and tie him up, stopping Pitbull's offense and frustrating him. All of this made it difficult for Pitbull to close the distance, but Pitbull would slowly make his way to Cabrera throughout the rounds because Cabrera was becoming more stationary since moving a lot requires a lot of energy. By round five, Pitbull was getting to Cabrera and started to land. He was landing left hooks and right hands to the body and was forcing Cabrera into exchanges. Cabrera was taking big shots but was taking them well and kept on using the clinch to slow the offense of Cruz. And this would continue all the way up to round 8 in which Cruz had his best round but also got a point taken away due to headbutting Cabrera out of frustration. However, Cabrera would make the necessary adjustments from round 9's onwards and was able to get his second win. He went back to boxing and moving while Cruz continued to follow Cabrera, missing a left hook and overhand right continuously. Cruz was still winning the majority of those late rounds, but Cabrera was still fighting well. Cruz would win, but I was more impressed with Cabrera, and it's understandable why it was a split decision. Some people will say that Cabrera ran and was hugging, but Cruz was unable to make the necessary adjustments to stop it. I now understand why Pitbull's team did not want him to fight Shakur Stevenson based on his performance. This was Pitbull's first time fighting a legitimate prime lightweight since losing the tank and he looks subpar. This performance does not warrant a rematch with tank. It looks like many fans are now waking up to the fact that Pitbull needs to stop chasing tank. Having a bad fight or a subpar performance isn't the end of the world but it puts things back in perspective. If Cruz wants tank, he needs to fight someone worthy and Cruz has plenty of options to choose from on his side of the street. The best opponent for Pitbull is Frank Martin. Frank also came off of a subpar performance this month, so this is the perfect fight. Both are gunning for Tank, so this fight would settle the matter. You also have Edwin De Los Santos, a guy that no one seems to want to fight despite wanting to fight everyone. But then you also have Ryan Garcia, who just called out Pitbull Cruz on Twitter. This would be a good fight for both guys, but it's also unrealistic since Ryan is staying at 140 and Pitbull is at lightweight. Furthermore, they are with different promotions and networks. Ryan is no doubt the A-side, so if anyone were to cross the street, it would have to be Pitbull. But based on how Sean Gibbons and Mini Pacquiao promotions have been moving Pitbull crews, I doubt they're willing to send him to the zone and Golden Boy. And based on how the tank fight played out, I doubt that Oscar De La Hoya is willing to send Ryan to Showtime again. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AEO Boxing from Adiba. Hit like, subscribe, and more content is coming your way.